Welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today we are going to be looking at how to make a structure in um, Minecraft using MBT data, which you can import to M Creator. Um, first off, you want to create a new flat world and then generate it, and then we'll get into it. So the first thing that you want to do while you're in your world is probably make sure that uh, no uh, aggressive mobs or anything spawn, but you also want to give yourself a structure uh, void and a uh, structure block. And these two things are going to help you create the NBT structure, which will be saved to your um, uh, workspace, uh, like the forge launcher, whatever runs um, the game. Now, what I've done to actually make it a little bit easier to calculate the blocks and stuff is to um, just lay down a area with wool or some other third block, and uh, then you kind of have an idea where your boundaries are for your structure. And we're going to be working on a tree um, for this structure, and this will be um, tying in with another future tutorial. But uh, once you have that all uh, rounded off and stuff, if you want to put a centerpiece in the middle, then that's fine. We're going to be using that for a tree. You want to put your structure block on the edge corner uh, where the axes all meet. And um, I'll show you how to work that in a few seconds. I'm just going to put the, those blocks over there uh, for the time being. And I'm just going to grab some vanilla Minecraft blocks and then we'll start building. So now that I have some basic blocks, I've decided to use some oak planks and then we'll probably add some leaves and stuff um, later on. However, um, what you want to do is build up your structure and uh, keep with inside the boundary blocks. Uh, don't go over the line or on the line and that's quite important for this um, to actually work. And um, yeah, you know, once you get the basic model done, there's a few ways you can do it. If it's a more complex model like this, then um, it's going to take a little bit more time to um, place in the thing. But there is a command which you can use to fill in um, the void blocks, which are actually quite important when um, creating um, MBT structures. So I'll get a little bit into that in a sec. But uh, the first alternative uh, to using the actual voids is um, to just place it down yourself but uh, they don't stack onto each other which makes it difficult to actually build with so like going and placing a bunch of voids by hand is nearly impossible because you have to place it on a block now what a void actually does like a structure void is um, it uh, creates a um, area which blocks can spawn uh, that are around when the tree or structure is generated. So for instance, um, if you were to not put any structure voids, it would chop out an entire cliff if it was on a cliff, and that just looks really ugly overall. So with the structure voids, it would um, allow those blocks to still spawn, but um, allowing the tree to still spawn as well without interfering any terrain around it. So it's handy to actually put those down and if you have a tree or something that uses a large amount. Now you want to play around with the coordinates of the structure block too and um, calculate where all the inner lines and stuff. You can also show the, um, the area where air is. Now you can see that there's a red dot and that's where a structure void is. All the blue squares are where air is. Air will basically spawn air. If it's a structure void, it will spawn um, any blocks that are in that area. So um, yeah, like I said, uh, you can place it all by hand, but you have to place blocks next to it in order to place it. But there is an alternative way, which we'll get into in just a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, just build your structure first and then we'll get on. Alright, so the other way you can basically uh, get all those blocks that you need for where the air is, is um, going along your boundary line, so putting a wall or some type of block on the inside and typing 
Um, where is it? Uh, fill, and then you want to select your first chords. You can use tab to select it. And you're just gonna delete or break all those blocks, including that one wool piece that you placed. And then you wanna go to your other corner um, at the lower part and you want to hit tab three more times and then minecraft and then you want to select um, structure void or structure underscore void and then you want to select zero which is the data value and then you want to select replace minecraft and then you want to type in error and make sure you remove the um, actual wool block that you were using or it's not going to generate a structure block there but uh, after that's done you're going to have a whole bunch of void blocks uh, where air used to be and the first coordinates um, use uh, where your top or bottom corner is one of your cores the second coordinate uses where your opposite corner is uh, usually at a higher altitude or a lower altitude depending on where you start and then you are typing in Minecraft uh, void, that's the block that you're going to be replacing, and the data value, and then finally replace, and then what block you want to replace it with. So once you have all that done, uh, you can finally go into your structure block, give it a tag. Um, now I've used a tag just so other mods uh, don't have conflict with uh, your particular workspace so it should probably be using um, tags when it comes to your blocks and all your elements and stuff too so and I'm using also structure which um, just separates it from the elements and then the name of the structure um, so yeah after you do that uh, what you want to do is go into the thing and don't click that save um, with the lowercase letters click on uh, no entities or entities off and then uh, click save with the capital letters and it saved it to your structures folder uh, which has been now generated in your worlds folder um, now we need to retrieve that file now you could technically use um, M creator and just import it from your worlds or you could uh, if you you store your files separately in a, a place just as a backup area like I do uh, then you can go into your world folder structures and then grab that file and put it wherever you're storing your files at and I prefer to do it that way because then I know that I have a physical backup in a folder that I am familiar with just in case I delete the world or whatever then I know I have a backup still um, outside of that uh, you just want to import MBT if you're doing it that way if you're not then just import structure from Minecraft and uh, select your MBT uh, folder in um, the Minecraft uh, world selection drop down box and you're good to go uh, you've imported a structure you have built uh, alright that's all there is to make a MBT structure I hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully it was uh, easy to understand uh, leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching my video guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications you can also go to my Google Plus page. I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to as many people as I can, as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.